hello and welcome and today I'm gonna show you how to deal with uh, very large text files in Windows so basically we're gonna try to view the text files and search through the text files so recently at my well at my now former job I came across this challenge where I had to basically search through and read these very large XML files and XML files are essentially text files they're like a gigabyte or more sometimes like two gigs of, of text so the problem is when you try to open a large text file so for example here we have big which is 1.3 gigs try to open that in notepad to complain that the file is too large you try to open that in most other text editors things will go pretty poorly this is notepad plus some some text editors are better than others in dealing with this now the essentially the problem is most text editors will try to load the entire file into memory and that's quite problematic a one gig file will take up several gigs of of ram so yeah, that's not what you want to do so I searched around and found some tools to to help me out with this the first one is bear grip if any of you are familiar with uh, Linux uh, like Ubuntu and other distributions you you might know this command line tool called grip now there are various versions of this made for Windows now bear grip is is the one we have found is uh, pretty nice and also very stable and so this one uh, what grep does is search through text files very quickly it's amazingly quick so basically gonna use these two tools in combination uh, bear grep to search through the file uh, and uh, of course I'm gonna give a small demo here and the appropriately named program large text file viewer allows you to load very large text files because what it does basically is it loads only a couple of, of uh, not a couple but like let's say a thousand lines or ten thousand lines from the file so it doesn't try to load the whole thing into memory it loads ten thousand lines and as you, if you scroll down you need to go f further down it loads another ten thousand lines and so on so it you know it can easily fit into memory like that right so let me just show you basically how this works so this is bear grip uh, you find your file uh, wherever you have you've saved it I recommend you save it in a in a directory by itself or with other text files you wanna search through so uh, there are no like program files or something else in there I'm gonna copy that. I'm having some problems with my mouse today. I'm gonna put it into the directory field, or you can, you can also browse for the folder if you want. You can filter the type of files you wanna search. So if you do have other files in that directory, you can simply filter out that you only want to search txt files, and you can see the two files appear here. Now this small, oops, you just me putting another file in there just for testing purposes and then you type for the text you want to search for so I'm gonna search for hello now you can see it's going through the, the, the big text file and up here you can see the percentage it has searched through so even though this is pretty fast but still you can take a bit or a bit of time depending on again on the size of the size of your files so this will search through all of the files in the directory which are text files so you can see here we are about 50% uh, down almost let me just scroll down here so there's a lot of hellos in this file this is a uh, some file I downloaded from a website and then 
basically copy pasted, copy pasted it a bunch of times until it became very large. So it's the same text repeating over and over in the file. Uh, right, so nothing to do, much to do here. Just wait it out. And we're about done. Right, so you can see it found all the occurrences of the word hello in our big text file. And these are the line numbers where the, the word actually appears. And you can see it found hello in our small... Oh, see, I, I double... My mouse is broken, I'm sorry. I double clicked that on accident. You can see it also found one occurrence in our small text file because I wrote that in there, hello world in small. So, just found all that. Now, let's say I want to, now th in this case there are a lot of matches, but hopefully you are searching for something more specific. So like in these XML files we had like customer names and uh, customer numbers and things like that. So it was a database dump in XML. So let's say, did I double click, oops, you see my mouse keeps double clicking when I'm single clicking. So let's say you want to find that, uh, this one here. So what you can do is right click here and copy. And then I can go into my large text file viewer, open the file again. Uh, what was that? C download files, okay. big open that you can see it opens pretty quickly because again I think it only loads like 10,000 lines or something like that now I want to go to to this line here right so I copied I copied the this information here so we're gonna go into my large text file viewer this is the go to line so I'm gonna paste that in there I'm gonna remove everything except the line number so you, you can do this a bit better I guess uh, better way to do it is to sorry sorry my mouse is going crazy better way to do it is to, to paste it into another like a text program copy that and then just take it over to the large text file viewer paste it in there and then press go Go my mouse again and see it's found that hello right there. Now th this one is just found pretty quick. It's on line to what is it 12 million something. Let's see if we can find one which is much more. Mm, my mouse is completely gone now. All right, let's find uh, this one here. I'm gonna copy that. over there I'm gonna copy this go to my large viewer large text file viewer paste that in and go again found it right, so this is this is pretty quick usually I was having a, a sometimes you depending on the file I guess you, you have to wait a bit because it, it sort of skips around because it only loads a few lines uh, like 10,000 lines at a time so it skips around through the file until it gets to the line that it wants to go so this is quick, pretty quick I don't know I think this is a different computer than I was using before so you can this in this uh, large text file view you can also search but this search is much much more uh, slower because uh, once again it, it it's loading well, I don't really know why it's slower but because grep also has to load the files somehow but grep is very fast and if you want to know why you can there are some articles on the internet explaining why it's actually that fast you can actually search in here but it's much much slower you can trust me on that right so that's about it you can do some other things uh, with your large text files depending on what they are so if you have like an xml or a, a, which has a some sort of a structure like it's a database dump or you have a CSV file which is basically also like a 
a table, a structured table. You can you can try and load the data into a database, and then once it's in the database, you can you can of course perform queries on the data much more quickly. So it depends on what you wanna do and what type of data you have and what type of database you want to insert it into. But this is a very quick and easy way to to search through very large text files. Right, so enjoy and thank you. Any comments, questions, I'll post the links to where you can get these two programs in the description. Thank you very much.